The use of violence to take to exercise and to preserve power remains a persistent reality in much of the world. One guiding star was supposed to light our path toward the UN vision of peace and progress, the star of freedom. What kind of people will we be 40 years from today? May we answer, free people, worthy of freedom and firm in the conviction that freedom is not the sole prerogative of a chosen few. States is far from perfect. Now we would welcome enthusiastically a true competition of ideas, welcome a competition of economic strength and scientific and artistic creativity, and yes, welcome a competition for the goodwill of the world's people. together our nations can achieve with hard work with freedom of information freedom of conscience the right to publish and the right to travel and shoot freedom works this is an eternal truth 40 years ago hope came alive again for a world that hungered for hope i believe fervently that hope is still alive It is time indeed to do more than just talk of a better world. It is time to act.
What if all of us in the world discovered that we were threatened by a power from outer space, from another planet? Wouldn't we all of a sudden find that we didn't have any differences between us at all? We were all human beings, citizens of the world, and wouldn't we come together to fight? Is not an alien force already among us? What could be more alien to the universal aspirations of our peoples than war and the threat of war?